if we could do that every time, I'll take 33 points really in any quarter, but um, 33 to 13 is a pretty nice fourth quarter, uh, best fourth quarter we've had all year, I'm guessing. Yeah. What's the feeling in the locker room after a win like this? I mean, again, going forward. I think they're very excited. Um, we, we played a good game today. We talk a lot about how we don't have to be perfect, but we have to um, play 40 minutes and we have to you know, maintain confident and we can't get down on ourselves when we do make a mistake or we do miss a shot. And today we were not perfect, but we were good enough. And we, we continued to push and we continued to defend and we continued to stick to the game plan. Um, in that third quarter, they made they outscored us by five or six, and um, they were making their push, and it was trading baskets for a while, and it was a um, touch and go, and that's a time where if you don't stick together, you could fall apart a little bit, and I don't think that that's been the reason why we've lost close ones, but that is a there's always a turning point like that, and it, it can go one way or another, and so we were really happy with ourselves, and, and I'm very happy and proud of them for, at that turning point, us saying, no, not today. It was worth it, worth it to get the little slit in the eye and everything. So I'm really proud of our team. We came out in that second half and just really came out ready to play, especially the fourth quarter. That's, that was awesome. We were hitting big time shots and everyone was getting so excited. It was, it was a really great way to spend the last time on the kennel. I'm very proud of my team. Um, we had a, in our pregame talk, Lisa was saying, like, asked us seniors, like, who would you dedicate this game to? That's an alum. And so we all went around and said some of the greats, Kayla Standish, Kelly Bowen, and then she asked the um, younger kids um, who they wanted to play for. And to hear people say that they wanted to play for you and for the rest of the seniors and that they were going to give it their all, that's, that's such a blessing to be on a team like that. So I'm very proud um, of how we came out, not just the five who started. We're all seniors, and it's a big moment, so you try to stay as calm as you can. But then you have freshmen and sophomores coming in that are expected to be the calming influence and usually it's kind of the other way around and everybody was just so solid and didn't deviate from the game plan and knocked down shots and and once and got big time rebounds so that's exactly what Zag basketball is supposed to be about.